Hey guys, welcome back. So for this episode, I am gonna do one of those epoxy finishes. Um, so on this particular one, um, what I did was um, transfer one of my prints, my art prints that I got done at Kinko's using the um, laser printer and then transfer it onto the piece of wood. Uh, make sure you check out that video. Um, and then I was wondering what to do after that. Um, so I'm thinking about doing, like I said, the epoxy. I've never done it before. Um, so just like a lot of the videos that I've been putting on on YouTube, um, they're pretty much first time. So for those that haven't done it, you know, I'm not an expert. So that way, you know, you know, some of the mistakes and things like that, that I'll end up doing first. Um, but you know what, it's all in fun. And this is kind of like a practice um, run. Um, I had done one with a um, my home printer that's um, ink. And this one, a laser with the ink, it ran off. So um, I do have that video as well. So anyways, for the epoxy um, gloss finish, I got this at Michael's. Uh, th this one is... Uh, 32 ounce um, and I I used one of the coupons that was like 40% off or whatever it was so it was much less um, I think it came out to like 12 13 dollars or something like that after the coupon um, so one of the some of the requirements obviously is wearing gloves um, you do need um, something to mix it with so like uh, popsicle sticks I just moved into this house, so I um, a lot of my art stuff is still boxed and I cannot find my popsicle stick. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take one of my old brushes and use the back of it and mix it. Um, obviously you need um, a cup. So I got one right here. And then you're supposed to mix it in equal parts. So you have um, this one and then you got the resin. So you got both. Um, since this is four by four, it probably is not gonna take too, too much. Um, so, you know, but that's gonna be kind of hard because obviously I don't really know how much exactly. So I'm gonna have to kind of eyeball it and if it needs more, I'm gonna have to mix them really quickly. Um, as far as the sides, um, I'm sure some of it's gonna probably run off and then I can also um, um, use like a brush or something like that to um, to finish it off or or even using Mod Podge or something like that just to kind of have some kind of sealant and same thing with the back once the front the top is is dry I'll flip it over and then maybe do a coat of um, Mod Podge or something like that since you know the back doesn't really matter or the bottom um, but anyways um, let me do uh, some mixing here and then uh, let's see what happens so I'm gonna let's see let's do the resin first just open that up and you won't be able to see me pouring all right so I got that back here very little for now um, like I said it might need more we just don't know maybe not all right so I got that and then I'm just gonna mix it All right, so I've been, it says to shake about two minutes. So it's been probably that long, maybe a little bit longer. So let's. Thank you. 
you're supposed to let it um, sit for really for a couple of days I mean it says about 24 hours but to really keep it um, or to really have it fully um, done I think it's supposed to be a few days so with that in mind you're supposed to put it somewhere where you're not gonna get dust or um, particles or anything like that um, all over it so I'm just gonna stick it in this little bin that I have here that shouldn't get any um, any type of uh, dust or anything like that so I'm just gonna take some of the stuff that fell and just putting it on the side just so it has something and then I'm gonna move it I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit but then I'm gonna move it so it dries without being interrupted so in a couple of days it'll dry super clear see there's a bubble right there so I think um, what I need to do is wipe my hands really quick and then um, use the torch and see if I can get that little bubble out of there. Just make sure you have, you know, some uh, disposable gloves so you can just throw these away. And then um, if you use another, if you do another project, you still got some. looks pretty cool it's super shiny um, I've been wanting to do it for a long time I mean, I've, I've had this box for over a year probably even more and I was actually afraid to um, to use it and then um, you know doing these transfers and trying to figure out uh, different ideas of um, creating an artwork you know other than painting on uh, on canvas, I wanted to use some of my prints and um, transfer it over to uh, wood or even other canvases, especially when I do digital art. Um, and then, you know, I've been wanting to uh, figure out what kind of surface. So obviously doing this epoxy finish, you know, it's, it's the highest, you know, it just looks super professional and very bright and um, you know, just, just, they, they just look awesome. So, um, I'm going to let it sit for a little bit and then I'm going to move it so it doesn't get any dust and then we'll check on it tomorrow. Um, I probably won't touch it, but, or, you know, play with it. I just probably look at it and then see how it's doing. All right. So it's been quite a few days. Um, I ended up leaving it just to make sure that it was, um, completely dry so I, I let it sit for, for uh, it's probably like three days um, so here you here it is um, you can see the glare so it's super shiny um, there is some air bubbles in there that I didn't notice when I first poured it um, but still it looks really really good um, as for the sides um, it didn't really do seal the side as well so what you can do is take some of the Mod Podge and do the side and the bottom since the top part is really the key focus on this piece um, you know it's not bad for my first time I was very nervous that I was gonna screw it up or I was gonna make too much um, of the mix or too little um, either way I will keep practicing and, and do other videos uh, but for now this is it um, please subscribe to my channel and like my video if you have any questions let me know 
I will be uh, posting some other ones. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.